Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to talk about the web browser uh, component in Windows Forms, which is very interesting, guys. Which I think you guys would definitely like this. We like this. So let's just increase our form a little bit. So this component is very useful if you're trying to create your own web browser, okay, or something like that. Or you need just need to load a web a web page. Oh, uh, what have you. So let's start by dragging it, this object into our form. So let's go to toolbox. And as you guys can see over here, we have the web browser. Let's drag and drop here. And we'll uh, take this. We need to adjust here, unlock, undock in parent container. So we have this. Okay. We need to just to position, uh, to position, to whatever position we would like to to have it i think that's good okay that's good so let's just run to see what we have so far okay we got an error uh okay okay we got this okay this from the previous previous video <laughs> need to delete this because we don't have these items anymore so let's just execute you guys can see we have nothing we don't see anything because we just have a web browser uh, object. So let's start by double click, double clicking the, this object. You guys can see we have the web document, uh, web browser document completed, which is a event which is called whenever the page uh, navigation is completed. Okay. So there, this method, this object has some methods. One of the methods is called navigate, which will load some page. Let's say when I uh, load google.com so we're gonna call this uh, this dot web browser dot navigate and we can pass a uh, location or address such as uh, https dot um, slash slash www dot dot google dot com and let's uh, run this now. We should see that it is loading. As you guys can see, the the application just is stuck. It's not loading. Okay. So you guys can see we have Google here. Uh, there is some things here that they are earning right though, because if we try to maximize, we lose the capability of doing so because of because of it. Okay. Okay. So. As you can see, we have some applications here. Uh, we need to change some of the things here. Let's do that. One of the things we're going to learn now is the anchor. The anchor means that whenever we are trying to maximize or minimize the form, the main form, our items will uh, stretch accordingly. Okay. So let's select our web, uh, web browser. You guys can see here anchor. And there is top left, which means that this object or this um, component, which only straight to the top and left. So we need to allow the bottom and right. So you guys can see we now have this can be shown here. Let's just try this. Okay. We've got top, bottom, left and right. So now what happens if we execute? is that we are able, you just need to wait a little bit. We are able to maximize and that web page will uh, be okay. Okay. So as you guys can see here, you guys can search my channel on Google if you want to. Uh, there is all the ways that we guys can uh, kind of play with this, play around with this. I'm going to talk about this <laughs> Later, definitely. I'm very excited to record this video because I'm have so much fun, guys. So uh, this is the video, guys. I hope you enjoy. See you guys next time.